Today I want to share with you how to make brown sugar. We're going to take this plain white sugar and we're going to turn it into light brown sugar, dark brown sugar, and something very similar to unrefined sugar like Sucanat. Hi sweet friends, I'm Mary and welcome to Mary's Nest where I teach traditional cooking skills for making nutrient-dense foods like bone broth, ferments, sourdough, and more. So if you enjoy learning about those things, consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to click the little notification bell below. That'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Now what I've got here is one cup of white sugar. And this is an unbleached organic white sugar, but you can also use the regular white sugar that you find at the grocery store as well. Now the first type of brown sugar that we're going to make is light brown sugar. And what you're going to need is some molasses. And this is just an organic unsulfured molasses. And that's what you want to look for. Just your basic plain molasses. And all we're going to do is take one teaspoon of this and add it to our white sugar. Now mine was in the fridge so it's slow. Like they say, as slow as molasses. But we'll fill this teaspoon and then we'll go ahead and add it to the white sugar. And we're just going to use clean hands to do this so you can use your clean finger to get that molasses out of your out of your measuring spoon. And once you get that little dollop of molasses in there you're just going to take your fingers and you're going to start working the molasses all through the white sugar. And I'm going to, it's going to be a little bit of a sticky wicket but you're, as you work the molasses more into the white sugar, it'll start to release from your hands. And I'll take a close-up picture so that you can see exactly what this looks like as you're going to start to work it uh, through the sugar. After about 30 seconds of working the molasses through the white sugar, you're going to have some beautiful light brown sugar. Now all you need to do is put this in a jar and you can keep this in your pantry and it'll stay fresh for about up to a year. Now you're probably going to want to put a little piece of white bread uh, in the jar with this brown sugar because that'll help it from getting hard the way brown sugar can tend to get when it's in your pantry. But that little piece of white bread will keep it nice and soft just like this. Now next to make dark brown sugar, what we need is one cup of white sugar and two teaspoons of the molasses. And I'll go ahead and add in my slow as molasses, my two teaspoons, and then we'll get to mixing it. Well, I've got my two dollops of molasses in here, my two teaspoons, and again we go in with our fingers and we just start working that all around until it becomes completely incorporated with the white sugar. Then after working in the molasses to the white sugar for about 30 minutes, now you've got dark brown sugar. And you'll be able to see, I'll bring the light brown over, you'll be able to see the difference the, between the light brown and the dark brown. Now you have both. And all you have to do is put the dark brown sugar in a jar in your pantry. And again, like with the light brown sugar, it makes sense to put a little piece of white bread in there to help keep it nice and soft like this. Now I want to share with you how to make something that's similar to unrefined sugar. Now, it's not exactly like unrefined sugar because we are starting with a refined white sugar. However, we're going to try to improve the nutritional value of this white sugar and make it more similar, it's not exact, but more similar to the nutritional value of unrefined sugar. And the reason we're doing this is many of you have asked me how you can make uh, something similar to Sucanat, which is an unrefined sugar because you can't find it uh, at your local grocery store. And yet when you're making the transition from a processed foods kitchen to a traditional foods kitchen and you want to incorporate more whole sugars, you want to find ways to at least work with your white sugar and improve its nutritional value. So that's what we're going to do right now. And this is very easy and it's a very similar process to making the light brown sugar and, and the dark brown sugar. You're going to start with your one cup of white sugar and then you're going to use three tablespoons of your molasses. So you can see where all this uh, improving of nutrition comes from with three tablespoons of molasses. Well, I've got my three tablespoons of molasses in there. And if you're wondering about the nutritional profile of molasses, how it improves the nutrition of the white sugar is that it's very rich in iron, magnesium, 
and vitamin B6. So all good things. Now I won't kid you, this is a bit of a little sticky wicket. <laughs> and if you want to use like a little spatula, like I'm using to get started stirring this, you can certainly put your fingers in and do it just like we did the other two. But sometimes I find it a little easier, at least in the beginning, to get it started using a little spatula or a spoon, whatever you have. Now this is what it's going to look like when it's all mixed up. Now this has a soft, wet consistency to it. It's very similar to if you had a, a real unrefined sugar. Now the only difference between this and Sucanat is that Sucanat is drier because they have the company that makes it has a uh, I believe it's maybe even patented, I'm not sure, but it is a process for drying this. However, this is wonderful, just as it is, to be used in recipes that call for unrefined sugars like a sucanat, and it's especially great um, when baking with whole grains because whole grains really crave moisture. And you usually have to add a little extra liquid whenever you're converting a recipe that uses all-purpose flour or bread flour, and then you want to convert it to using whole grain flour. You often have to add more moisture. And this is one of the ways of incorporating more moisture by using uh, this heavily molasses <laughs> white sugar that now is all rich and sticky and much uh, better for you and richer in nutrition than just the plain white sugar. And just like your light brown and your dark brown sugar, this sugar can also be stored in your pantry in a jar and I highly recommend putting in a little piece of bread as with the others to keep this nice and moist and soft. Now you've got your light brown sugar, your dark brown sugar, and your mock unrefined sugar. And these can be used in any recipe that calls for brown sugar, whether it's light or dark or an unrefined sugar. And if you'd like some recipes for how to use these sugars, specifically this unrefined version, be sure to click on this video over here where I show you how to make a cake with einkorn flour and unrefined sugar and more. And I'll see you over there in my Texas Hill Country kitchen. Love and God bless.